this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm working with Luminosity, the Artisan, and the Essence sets, and I'm going to do a really quick edit using uh, both of these sets together. They're, work they're created to work together in combination. They're very stackable. You can combine them, mix and match them as you wish, never need to flatten in between, and they won't interfere with each other, so you can just keep on editing, go back and make changes as you need, and never need to worry about that. We're going to start with our color base workflow action from the Essence, and for this one I'm going to use Delicate. It's kind of a light touch workflow action, and that's done. And, and then I'm going to go in here, it's a little bit too bright for this image, and so I'm going to take the brightness layer down just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to just turn it all the way off and leave that there. You don't need to flatten. Move on to your next edit, and I'm going to go down to the Artisan set and use one of the color shift actions, and this one's called Matte Part Portobello, and this one does, it does give a really deep, uh, really hazy look to it, and so I'm, I'm going to go in and choose the Portobello Matte Rich layer as well to deepen it up just a little bit and then I want to make sure to uh, mask mask off my subject a bit so she's not becoming too hazy or deep in tone. And I'm going to drop the opacity down on that a little bit. And then I'm going to select Lola from the same artisan set and drop the opacity on that one to about 30%. And one I like to use just on the background sometimes is La La Love. And it actually gives a really intense warmth to the image. And so I hit Command I or Control I uh, on the layer mask there to invert that. And then I come back with my white brush and just dot it here and there for punches of warmth in the background or wherever you see fit. It's nice to use around, if you have a sunlit picture, it's nice to use around the sun flare to give it extra warmth and oomph. And take that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to finish off with a rich deep matte action from Artisan. And again, I want to mask it off of my subject. And since I already have this layer mask on Matte Portobello created that masked off the subject, I'm going to select that layer mask and I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key on a PC and drag it to the rich deep matte layer and just drop it onto the layer mask there. And it might ask you if you want to replace the layer mask and you just say yes. And then I'm going to finish with the Earth and Ruby Paint on Edges from Artisan and just quickly paint around the edges here to give it a little bit more depth and warmth and drop the opacity on that a little bit. And that is our final edit and there's before and after and you can turn off the artistic edits on that from the artisan and see that it, you can also do a very lovely color punched look as well. So there's before and after with just the essence and here's with the color shift actions from the artisan. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.